Here's how to get started with WordPress super fast. We need to choose a domain name. Keep it simple, relevant to your website's niche, and easy to spell. We recommend purchasing it from Namecheap for multiple reasons. If you're a first time customer and use our link, this will update to only $6. Speaking of, we'll leave a link to every product and service we mentioned today in the description below. Using these links helps support our team and all of our ad-free videos. With the domain secured, it's time to get hosting. We have a video that dives deep into what to look for in a host. But for the sake of time, our top pick is SiteGround for beginners. First, it's an optimized WordPress hosting provider, meaning that the server and its settings are specifically tailored for WordPress. Every SiteGround plan has many features, including free SSL, site migration, business email, and a content delivery network. Prices are affordable too, starting at just $2.99 per month. Now we need to install WordPress, which is extremely straightforward with SiteGround. If you're not using SiteGround, we'll leave a link in the description on other installation methods. But for us, we'll use one-click installation to get our site spun up. I'm gonna click manage, new website. I would select this if I just purchased a domain from Namecheap, and then I'll select start a new website, WordPress, enter an email address and a password, and then continue. And now it's going to create our website. With that done, now we can press login admin. This is our admin dashboard where we'll manage our website. Here on the left-hand side, we have quite a few pages to run through, so here's a brief overview. On the Home tab, we can view our website status, health, draft posts, and events. Under Posts, we can manage dynamic time-based blog content. Under Media, we can manage our images, videos, and attachments. Under Pages, we can handle static content like our Home page, About page, and Services page. Under Comments, we can moderate and manage comments. Under Appearance, we can add and customize themes. Under Plugins, we can install and manage plugins. Under Users, we can add and manage user permissions. Under Tools, we have a plethora of things like import-export settings, and we can also manage our site health. Under settings, we can configure the homepage, discussion, writing, reading, and permalinks. Which speaking of, let's talk about some essential settings. The first of which is found here on the general tab under settings. Go ahead and change your site title and your tagline. Also under settings, we have permalinks. You can improve your SEO by selecting the post name option. Also under general, make sure you are set to the right time zone. Under the reading tab, this is where you can control the homepage post display and summary full post view. So rather than showing your latest blog posts, we would select a static page if we end up creating a homepage. Under discussion, this is where you manage comment settings and moderation. Take some time to get familiar with all of the different tabs here to adjust the settings as needed to customize your website. Now let's talk about your site's theme. A WordPress theme dictates your website's layout, design, and overall look without affecting core functionality. Themes offer various customization options, like changing colors, fonts, and layouts. There are thousands of free and premium themes available for different styles and purposes, such as personal blogs, business websites, or online stores. Divi by Elegant Themes is a highly customizable WordPress theme with a no-code drag and drop page builder called the Visual Builder. It includes over 200 design modules for customizing web pages, such as accordions, blog modules, and image galleries. The powerful theme builder allows designing of every aspect of your site, including headers, footers, and page templates. Divi AI is an integrated AI website builder that generates web copy, images, code, and full web page layouts, making it easy to create websites quickly and efficiently. Before we install Divi, we need to purchase it from elegantthemes.com. Once you do that, you can go to account, username, and API key. We're gonna scroll down and select generate new API key. Once you do that, you can click to copy it and you can also add a label for reference. Now we can go back over to account, product downloads. And from here, we wanna select download the Divi theme. Back over on our WordPress website, go to appearance and then select add new theme. From here, we could press upload theme, choose file, select it and press install now. And once that's done, we'll select activate. Now on the bottom left hand side here, go to Divi theme options. And on the far right, you'll see updates. Now we can type in our username and paste in our API key, then press save changes. And just like that, Divi is set up and ready to go. Now, before we continue with our website, you need to understand the difference between pages and posts. Pages are static content, like a contact or homepage. Posts are dynamic content, like articles, recipes, often assigned to categories. To create a post, let's go over to the post tab. Now we can select add new post. This part is super straightforward. Simply give your post a title, and now we can decide if we wanna use the Gutenberg 
Gutenberg editor or the Divi builder. For the sake of this part, I'll show you the default editor. It works by utilizing this black plus icon right here to add different blocks. So I can add a heading and then I can add a paragraph and add an image and the list goes on. Then when we're done, we can press publish. But if we go back to our WordPress admin dashboard, let's have some fun with creating a page. Simply go over to pages, add new page, give it a name. We'll go with home and we'll use the Divi builder. Now from here, we have three different options. We could build from scratch, choose a pre-made layout, which we have a whole bunch of, or we can do a new feature, which is build with AI. Since we're looking to have a little bit of fun here, let's do build with AI. You'll see this little dialogue box pop up. And what we need to do here is enter a page description, business details, fonts, colors, all the fun stuff. And we'll let Divi AI do the heavy lifting. Once I fill out these two boxes here, describing the page, as well as the website, I can select customize fonts and colors. And I could decide either if I want AI to do it for me or if I want to actually define what the font and colors are. I'm going to let AI choose for me. So once I'm ready, I'll hit generate layout. And as you can see, Divi AI does one step at a time. And for context, I decided to tell Divi that I have a company called Divi Golf. I'm a PGA professional and I'm offering private swing lessons. So here we go. As a starting point, it did a great job. It added each section that I wanted, which includes, you know, the 30 years of PGA experience under the meet me section. It added the pricing and even added onto it so that if I want, I can offer more opportunities to customers and it has a section dedicated to the four fundamentals of a perfect golf swing. So all things considered, not too shabby. You can just repeat these steps to create additional pages with Divi. WordPress's true power lies in its plugin ecosystem, extending functionality for various needs. Here are essential plugins. Improve search engine rankings with Rank Math. Protect your site with daily backups using Updraft Plus. Optimize images for faster loading with EWWW Image Optimizer. Enhance performance with WP Optimize. Protect against attacks and malware with solid security. Add feeds, sharing buttons, or auto post to platforms with either Monarch, which is our product, or you can use blog to social. The Divi Marketplace offers various extensions, child themes, and layouts. Highlights include Divi Mega Menu Pro. You can create advanced menus with icons, images, and buttons. The Ultimate Divi Utility Bundle, a bundle with nine products for enhanced functionality, including pop-ups and new modules. Multi e-commerce, a child theme for creating online stores. And Divi Made, which has a collection of pre-made layouts. Explore the Divi Marketplace for more options to enhance your Divi theme. Now that you understand the basics, we recommend you you check out our full length tutorials available on our channel, which includes a 40 minute plus video on how to build a website with Divi from start to finish. And there you go. Check out the description for a link to everything mentioned in today's video. Using our link helps support our team and ad free videos like this one. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.